makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. Going back to my latest addition to my 3D Printed Soup printing farm, that is the new Ender 3S1. We've assembled it, we've done a quick review. Now let's have a look at some of the safety features. When I say safety, I mean print safety, not your safety. No one cares about your safety, we care about the safety of your prints. What happens if that terrible situation arises where you either run out of filament or your filament, God forbid, snaps? It can happen, it's under a lot of tension, it's being pulled down at a constant angle. Sometimes, if the temperature's wrong or there's a defect in the filament, it can snap and then your print ends early. That's when you rely on the filament sensor. This little black box of tricks, which has a little sensor in there which will tell the printer that, hey, you're almost out of filament, best pause this and wait for someone to come along and fix the problem. But just how reliable is this? I myself try very hard not to run out of filament, but occasionally it snaps, or well, occasionally my mind's on something else, like getting the next video out. And yeah, I forget to reload the filament and it runs short, and then I end up with a half finished print. And that's no fun for anyone. So let's give it a try and see if we can't replicate the situation and see if it actually does one, recognize whether it's run out of filament, two, actually pause the print in the right place. And three, can it resume afterwards and carry on printing without leaving that awful layer line or, God forbid, actually have it off slightly and carries on printing in midair and makes a lovely 3D printed spaghetti soup all over your printer, which can cause damage and in the worst case it can actually get into the fans and cause a fire. So yeah, this is very important. So let's see if we can't replicate a filament shortage and see if the one, it stops, and two, can it restart? Before we do, however, thank you to everyone who's liked to subscribe this month. Loads of you now. We're very nearly up to 800. So if you haven't liked to subscribe already, now's the best time. Get your, get your cursor, drag it down, find the subscribe button, get that a click, and bang, you're part of the 3D printed cult. I say a cult, we're an organization. I'm not saying I'm some kind of messiah, although if you'd like me to be your messiah, I can be. All you have to do is click on the link in the description and go to my Patreon and I can guarantee your printed soul will be saved for all time. With that out of the way, let's see if we can't replicate a printer filament shortage. Let's give this a try. Okay, this little black box of tricks here is the filament sensor. It records where the filament is passing through when it leaves the spool at the top and before it hits the hot end at the bottom. Its basic function is to scan and make sure that when the filament runs out or if there's a cut in the filament, it stops the machine and pauses it and allows you to refill. As you can see here, it's got the little blue lights on there. That is the sensor. That means that it's picking up filament and everything's fine. If there's an issue with it, like say it runs out of filament or the filament snaps somehow, the light will go out and it will stop. I don't have much left, so let's give this a try. First of all, let's choose a good file. Click and this one will do. And let's start this going. Here it is doing its job. Blue light is on, so everything is fine and the filament is passing through without an issue. As you can see, it sort of hangs freely, so there's no actual tension on it, so it's not gonna damage it. It just sits there measuring if the filament is passing through. Okay, 20 minutes later, we're running out of filament and here we go, let's see what happens. And about now, and the blue light goes out, so we have run out of filament. And there we go, there's the emergency stop. It's paused it, you can click continue or you can click stop, whichever you prefer. I've chosen to continue, so let's break out some new filament. I'm using the Ender's own filament here because it's an Ender printer, so how, why not? That's it, open up the vacuum sealed filament. And let's see if we can't get this loaded back on to the printer. There we go. And with the filament back through, the blue light comes on showing me that I have now got filament inside the sensor. And as this is a direct drive, I can just push this little tab here. Sorry, it's slightly out of focus, but trying to film with a headset and two hands is a bit of a nightmare, but we'll work with it. Ah, there we go. Right. You push the tab, pull the filament, out it comes. The hot end's still hot, so this should take fairly easily. In it goes. I've cut it at a 45 degree angle, so it goes in easier. Give it a push, and there we go. We have got the filament 
leaking at the bottom here as you can see now so we know it's been changed and that's why I love this I love a direct dry printer is so much better okay there we are all loaded up so let's go back up here all loaded in and we click we don't press the button it's not a touch screen oh god I wish it was a touch screen and continue and let's see if this starts there we go oh let's grab that little bit out of the end there there we go just stop it messing up the print and yeah here we go it is started exactly where it finished no issues doesn't seem to be off at all let's give it some time and a few hours later this tall thin print which uh, would have failed if I had run out of filament on another printer has paused been reloaded and restarted and there we go it's just part finishing the last couple of bits on there and we are done a perfect print even with a problem with filament well that seems like a successful test and yeah the little black box of tricks on my new Ender 3 S1 actually does stop the printer it pauses it and when you click restart after you've reloaded the filament it carries on as if nothing happened and the print was an absolute success so yeah you can rely on it next thing we've got to test i think is what happens if the power goes off completely but that's for another video thank you very much for watching 3d printed soup stay happy stay safe keep printing it's not a game, it's a red skin.